Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about how can create the permission. Like I already created two type of user. One is the admin and another one is the author. So admin user will have all the trivialization and he can also provide it some of the trivialization for the author. So how can manage all that your privilege for your author from the admin? In this video, I will show you that things with the live example. For doing this, first of all, we need to add some of the permission package. So first of all, I just want to install that package. So right now for creating the permission in Laravel, I just want to use one of the package and its name is Antrust. So if you go to the Google and here, if you search with the Antrust and now click on the Enter. So right now I want to install that package like here right now that is the Antrust the role based permission for Laravel 5 okay so now I just want to open it and here into the github you actually get all that instructions like uh, if you go to this position like that is the installation all that process so step by step we have to actually um, maintain all that process so step by step I will show you first of all that is actually the installation process first of all we have to actually run that code so I just copy and now you have to do you have to go your root directory of your project and now here I just define the CMD and into the CMD first of all you have to write down as a composer require and then here you have to do you have to paste that common line so here I just copy that common line and into this position I just paste it okay now click on the enter so now here it should be download all that package so it may take little time and make that sure you are connected with the internet so when it should be done then i will come back again so now here our package is successfully installed and when it should be installed then it should be redirected to our directory that means our that news directory page and now there is another instruction so that is another instruction is a two and now we have to do we have to add that class okay we have to add this in our config app in our providers area so now i just open it uh, that is our config and into the config that is an app and into the app here i already added some of the things on here like that is actually the providers so into this position so here i just want to add that providers on particular that area okay so here i add it and now there is another instruction we have to also add this one we have to also add this one in our allies so i uh, use the same page that is a config and the app.php so here there is a config and app.php this that is actually the allies and into this position after that i just paste that things on particular that position so here i add that allies and now they have the another instruction so that is another instruction is around that command so i just copy that command and in our this directory here i paste it and click on the enter and now here you have to define as a nine and click on the enter and now here there is a publishing completed okay so it's now successfully published and completed on here and then our another step as a five there is a now we have to add this okay we have to add this in our config and the auth.php page so now go to the config and there is a auth.php and here if you go to these positions like there is the provider there is the user driver is already added on here there is a model also added on particular that position so into this area we have to do we have to add only this one okay that means this table so there is a driver model already have on particular that position so in this area i just added the table and the users okay and then we have to do we have to flow our six step and in our midi lawyer here we have to add that all so I just copy all the things from here and that is our midi lawyer so if you go to this position that like there is our app and into the app there is a HTTP okay and into the HTTP here you find out one of the kernel.php so in our kernel.php into this positions like there is a protected uh, route midi lawyer okay and in our route midi lawyer here we have to paste that three of these so now here I just paste it so that is actually the three Okay, so I hope you can well understand about it. So now here I included all the things in our route midi lawyer position. So now that is actually our step six. And here you can see that is also that instructions, the route midi lawyer, and in the array, there is a app, HTTP, and the kernel.php. 
So I just include three, three of these in our route middleware. So that is our route middleware app and the HTTP and the kernel.php. And then we have to do, we have to add that is a config that is user related roles. So we have to actually run that and trust migrations. So before run that and trust migration, we have to do all of the work. Like if you go to our page and into this position, and uh, they have on the folder as a bandor and into the bandor they have another folder like that is zizako okay and into the zizako there is a and trust and here there is a src and there is a commands and there is a migration so that is actually the page the migration command so now i just open it and into the migration command here one of the functions as a file okay so you have to actually update it we have to actually make the things as a handle so here I just update it as a handle on particular that position. Now I just click on the save all. And now here I want to actually create it. Okay, now I want to generate that migration and trust. So if you don't update that method, then you will maybe get some of the error. Okay, so for the reasons I just update it and now I want to run that, the PSP artisan and trust and the migration. And now click on the enter. And now there is one of the command as a process with the migrations created. So here I just define as the ES. Now click on the enter. And here you can see migration successfully created. And when this migration created, then you get that migration in our database folder. Like if you uh, go to the database on particular that position, so they have some of the folder as a database. And into the database here, you can see he actually created one of the entrance uh, setup tables. Okay. So he automatically automatically created that migration on particular this area and now i want to actually put that migrate like here there is another command as a php artisan migrate so i just copy it and into these positions here i already created our migration successfully and now here i run that php artisan migrate so now if you click on the enter and now here you can see he created one of the migration that is the enter setup table. So that is another tables. Okay, so he created two of these table. For checking the table, now if you go to our database, like that is our database, and right now I just refresh that database. Now you can see here he created one of the table as a permission, another table as a permission role and the role. Okay, so he created some of the table for that permission, and now it's successfully updated in our database table area. So now here our permission table is now created and now I want to do I want to go back our admin panel like if you click on the login okay like first of all I have to log in here and now click on the enter and here I just put our admin email address like as the admin at the rate gmail.com and the password and now click on the login and after logging, it will be rejected to our admin page. That means this page. Okay. So here I already created our table. I that is a permission tables. So right now, in our next video, I will show you how can create one of the page for the permission. Okay. So step by step, each and everything will be very much clear to you. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.